Legends says that the debate over whether Joan of Arc was which saint of Rome has started wars. Today, the Illuminati have decided to go to court and settle who she really was. Today we are going to end the debate whether the Joan of Arc was a witch, saint or warrior. Calling first witness to the stand. <coughs> I was Joan of Arc's second cousin and I believe that she was a saint. When Joan was twelve she heard a voice from God. The voices were Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Catherine and Saint Margaret. She also saw visions that were prophecies from later life. As Joan grew into her teens, she developed a deep spiritual life of prayer. She claimed that the voices of saints were instructing her to raise the saint of her land, capture Ames and have Charles crowned as king. They also instructed her to dress as a man for carrying out this work. She was so religious that she left the 16th answer a call. King Charles VII sent her to be examined by the doctors of the church to see whether her visions were genuine or not. They were real. When she was told she would be burned to death if she didn't admit that the voices were not real, she still didn't deny the voices. She agreed to abjure. While she was burning to death, her last words were Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. St. Joan of Arc feast day is celebrated on May 30th. A relapsed heretic is not a witch, which is what she was proud to be. And Wikipedia says so. Objection! Thank you, but I need to go to the bathroom quickly. I'll be filling in. You, rejection guy, get up here. Should I? Your opening statement, if you will. I'm Joan of Arc's half-brother, and I think she was a warrior. I mean, she left home at 16 to fight for France's independence. And then in April 1429, she led the France against the English in the Battle of Orleans. Joan broke the siege of Orleans in only three days of fighting in May 1429. Joan of Arc was rewarded for her bravery by King Charles of France with a coat of arms. It featured a sword holding a crown with a fleur de lis on each side. Joan attempted to liberate Paris on September 1429. Joan was wounded and the attempt to liberate Paris failed. She was hit by a bolt from a crossbow. She refused to leave the battle and forcibly carried her to the rear. In spring of 1430, Joan takes the field of a small army in Burgundy, which was in English rule like Paris. Biography.com says so, and she was the only woman to fight in the army at the time. Who of that Mexican has been watching me back? What are you doing here? Stay here. Calling next witness to the stage. I was Joan of Arc's sister in crime. Joan of Arc had mysterious visions about violent matters and was probably a schizophrenic. Joan was tried for witchcraft and heresy. On May 30th, 1931, she was burned at stake like my family. Joan of Arc was extremely violent and would kill nice for swearing or dismissing her plans. That was my idea. The jury has decided a verdict. She has been dubbed saint. It is to believe that she never actually fought hand to hand combat, which doesn't really make her a warrior. Joan of Arc was extremely religious since her last, last words were her God, and Wikipedia says so. When is Wikipedia wrong? When you 